today is July 22nd. Pastor is saying to us, complete prosperity. Our opening scripture comes from the book of 3 John chapter 1, verse 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. Today's study begins with the amazing verse that clearly reflects the mind of God for you. Remember, the Bible says that all scripture is given by the inspiration of God, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. Therefore, more than anything else, God's wish, His desire, His will and His plan is that you prosper. I know some Christians have problems with the teaching on prosperity. Well, 3 John chapter 1, verse 2 proves God is interested in your complete prosperity material prosperity, the physical or bodily prosperity, and the prosperity of the soul. Let's take a closer look at the verse. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. Some people may be prospering in their soul, but are neither prospering physically nor materially. I'm referring to Christians who are doing well, upright and forthright in all their affairs, yet they are sick and financially broke. But the Spirit of God says, I wish you will prosper in your health and finances, just as your spirit is prospering. Such folks must believe in material and physical prosperity so their lives will be balanced. That's what God wants, a balanced spiritual life. The last part of the verse refers to the prosperity of your soul which is spiritual and has the priority. God wants you to prosper materially or financially. Then he also wants you to be in health. Healing is good, but when you are in health, you don't need healing because you don't get sick. Hallelujah. What's the secret to this life of out and out prosperity? How can you prosper in your spirit, soul, and body? The Bible says, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Colossians chapter 3, verse 16. If the word of God is in you richly, you'll prosper spiritually, and therefore physically and materially too, because the lesser is included in the greater. Give yourself wholly to the word. Study and meditate on the word. Keep it inside you until it pours out of your mouth always and in any situation. Please say this prayer with me. Dear Father, You've given me all-round prosperity. I'm prospering spiritually, financially, and I'm healthy, vibrant, and strong. I'm standing firm like a flourishing tree planted by your design, deeply rooted by the brooks of bliss, bearing fruits of righteousness, ever blessed, ever luscious, in Jesus' name, amen. For further study, please read Psalm chapter 35, verse 27, Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22, and Psalm chapter 1, verse 3 of the Passion Translation. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Acts chapter 27, verses 27 to 44, and Psalms chapters 23 to 25. For the two-year Bible reading plan, Please read Ephesians chapter 1, verses 1 to 14, and Isaiah chapter 42. Rhapsody of reality.